Storm Grayson batters America as temperatures plummet to dash 69C, lakes freeze, and 90 miles per hour icy winds cause chaos. Weather services have issued wind chill warnings for parts of Vermont, New York, Virginia, West Virginia, Maryland, Maine, and New Hampshire. Millions of Americans are facing Arctic conditions in the wake of the Storm Grayson bomb cyclone after wind chills brought temperatures as low as minus 69 degrees Celsius. Lakes and rivers have frozen across the northeast U.S. and 90 miles per hour winds at the summit of Mount Washington, in New Hampshire, have made 38 sea temperatures feel twice as cold. The Mount Washington Observatory recorded the brutally cold temperatures, which were tied for the second coldest on Earth, on Saturday morning. We basically just start saying it's stupid cold outside, Mike Carmen, senior meteorologist at the observatory, told the New York Times. Cars caught on ice-covered roads in Boston have been abandoned and the Chicago River froze over after the storm strengthened and dumped 18 inches of snow on parts of the country on Friday night. Elsewhere, the Killington Ski Resort in Burlington, Vermont, was forced to close yesterday when temperatures plunged to dash 18 C and a wind chill made it feel like a frosty dash 46 C. Tourists took selfies as ice hung from Canada's iconic Niagara Falls, which also froze during the cold snap. Weather services have issued wind chill warnings for parts of Vermont, New York, Virginia, West Virginia, Maryland, Maine, and New Hampshire. Philadelphia, New York and New Jersey faced dash 13 C temperatures yesterday, a record low measurement at a weather station in New York's John F. Kennedy Airport for that day of the year. Right now, the only thing I put on was just some gloves, a couple sweaters of course, like five or six of them, New York resident Zilani Mia told the Associated Press. My car felt like an icebox this morning, even though I had the heat on full blast, said New Jersey resident Julie Williams as she headed to work yesterday. The cold spell was responsible for at least 18 deaths by Friday. At least four people were killed in car accidents in North Carolina due to the treacherous conditions and authorities are still searching for a 35-year-old who disappeared in the blizzard in Maine. Dan Hoffman, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Baltimore, said, it's definitely cold and the type of bone-chilling cold that happens every few years.